Welcome everyone, I'm Paul Mintpeeper and today we're looking at the Immaculate Cathedral in Divinity Original Sin. You can find the cathedral just here on your map, on the Lacula Forest section of the game. The entrance is guarded by an Immaculate Cryomancer and an Immaculate Ranger, which you can actually just talk your way by, but as you can see, I've had more fun just killing them. Once you make your way inside, your path is seemingly blocked as the staircase has fallen apart. But what you want to do is actually start lighting these coal baskets here, and that unlocks a secret wee passageway. We make our way further into the cathedral, where we come across an altar here with Mangoth giving some sort of sordid sermon. He legs it and leaves us to fight his minions. Once the enemies are defeated, you can pick up the Star Stone. There is also a staircase to the left here, which you can go up and speak to a ghost, a librarian ghost, which she will give you a little tip on how to reveal the hidden staircase, which Mangoth used. She also sometimes has quite nice items on her, the twice that I've checked, she's had a legendary item, so it's definitely worth checking there. The lever we need to pull is just here behind this pillar to the south of the altar. That will reveal the hidden passageway. In the next area, our path again is blocked as we need to gain access to the small room here. As we move around, we can see that there are switches all around the room. There are four switches in total, but we need to know in which order to press the switches. There's a picture of a compass there, which will actually help us to figure that out. If we look even further in the room, there is a book here called the Necronomicon of Cooking. If we read the book, we can see the author's name, E. N. S. West, which is a little hint as to what order to press the switches, which by using the compass there, we can start with east here, north, south, and finally west. This reveals the entrance to the room, but before you can gain access, Mangoth makes another appearance. This time he fights alongside his lackeys. So once you dispose of them, you now have access to Leandra's vial of blood and her diary. Hope you found this helpful. Bye!